Okay guys, Troy Casey, Certified Health Knot here. I'm gonna talk through this without trying to get angry. I may get a little an animated, not angry, just passionate. So this video is all about the children, the future of humanity. And this is a Roe versus Wade video. We're gonna break this down. I'm getting a little upset with seeing all these inane arguments that aren't on the point. The point is about personal responsibility. You have a personal responsibility as a human being to be as cognizant of your actions and how it's rippling out in the world. Everyone knows from their parents and their upbringing that if you have sex, you can get a disease or you can have a child, which comes along with the responsibility. And now with the economy the way it is, you don't get to watch that child. You have to give that child up to the state and be subject to state things like we saw in this last couple of years, right? These fake mandates, whatever the state wants to say. You also are giving your power up to the state, whether you got, whether you got, whether you get an abortion or not, or somebody's going to grant you the rights. How about you just reclaim your sovereignty, reclaim your divinity, and be responsible for each and everything that's going on in your life including your health, which is what I specialize in. But mental health is critical for physical health. And if you're giving up your responsibility for someone else, and you're having sex unconsciously with other human beings and not being responsible for that, and if your body gets pregnant, you are looking to the state to give you a right to go up there and get some kind of vacuum cleaner or, or uh, coat hanger to kill that fetus to get that fetus out right you could do that yourself right or you could do what the indigenous did with unwanted births or something that would put strain on the tribe or the community or somebody was injured or potentially going to die from some situation like that there was herbal medicines penny royal tea large dosages of gato. i've heard this i you know um, don't know exactly what the recipe is, but there has been herbal concoctions to induce an abortion. That's why you don't take certain things when you're pregnant, right? So how about, this is a clarion call for everyone to be responsible, have dominion over your own body temple, your own spiritual spacesuit, the gift that God gave you, right? And you have the ability to make life not only make life, create life, create, period, manifest. That's where your sexual energy is, your sexual power is. I'm here to tell you as a health practitioner, take time to study your own genitalia, your own anatomical structure. Understand natural law, the law of polarity, the law of gender, the law of cause and effect, the law of reciprocity. Understand how you're creating. Take responsibility. Stop being a fucking victim. All you whining liberals and the Republicans and Democrats. Look, this is all divide and conquer stuff. They're trying to run their own agenda. You want body autonomy regardless of the government. How about that medicine right there? Wake the fuck up, right? Reclaim your divinity, reclaim your responsibility, reclaim dominion of your mental health, of your emotional health, of your spiritual health, who and what you are and what you're creating. Oh, cry me a river and get out the violins. Oh, I'm pregnant and somebody else is responsible. Fuck that shit. What kind of parents teach that bullshit to their kids? Right? So if you had those parents that were lackadaisical or lazy, human avarice, lazy, that they didn't teach you your own responsibility, right? You know you're gonna get a disease and you know you can possibly get pregnant. Everybody knows that. That's common knowledge. If you don't have that knowledge, then God, I feel so sorry for you. You've just been programmed by Disney and the video games and the, the consumption on the, the dopamine control machines. These, these, ah, the world's a messed up place, right? Forgive yourself, 
Forgive yourself for your misunderstanding and now reclaim your own responsibility. Reclaim your divinity. Reclaim your own power, your own energetic structure, right? Don't be a pussy, right? Don't be a whining, complaining, giving up your power to some external entity. Reclaim your power. And if you get pregnant, nothing is more powerful, nothing is going to teach you more power in that spiritual journey of having that child. Nobody's ever ready. And now that everybody's working, nobody's here to watch the children except for the state. So watch that point of view. But if you get pregnant, look into your own manifestation principle. Wow, how powerful. You've created life inside of yourself. Fuck yeah, what else can I do with this power and intention, right? So be intention, guide your sexual activities. Don't settle for every Tom, Dick, and Harry. Check in with your pornographic program mind, right? Why do you want sex in the first place? Really look into that, especially women programmed to go get the guy and then the systems are set up to divorce him and rip him off and take his money and, and marginalize him and, and men aren't even on the cover of Parenting Magazine. You know, look deeply at your own social engineering and take responsibility for yourself. There's nothing wrong with an abortion if that is the top choice in the moment. But if that's the every man's choice and the bottom choice, and I can take the abortion pill and I can get an abortion and I can take the morning after pill and I can be irresponsible with my time and energy, well, the way of the world is a very precarious situation because of that type of consciousness. So congratulations, congratulations. Yes, you are responsible for the sum total of your reality. You create everything with your thoughts. If you don't understand, most of your thoughts are subconscious. And if you don't know what your subconscious thoughts are, simply look at your fucking life. Okay? And if you don't like what you see, keep watching my channel and or reprogram the mind to what you do want to see. Right? And be responsible with the genitalia because you can get a disease. And you might get a disease in the form of having somebody's kid that you don't want to have. All right? So you guys have a great day. I love you very much. And uh, that's it.